Whew. Tell ya. Well, think about sitting in a two hour, 20 minute movie and eating a full bag of popcorn when you get out. Your butt is like an overinflated helium balloon. Oh, Oof. I wonder if that got picked up by the camera. Hey, what's up? It's James. I just got out of an advanced screening of the brand new Avengers Infinity War. And here is a red light review. Here's the tip for this movie. You might not want to get the extra large pop. Why? Because you might almost piss your pants like I did. Finally, fucking finally. It's what, been six, seven, eight years? How long have they been dropping little Easter eggs at the ends of all the Marvel movies for this final fucking moment? Avengers, the Infinity War, Thanos is on a quest to get all those fucking Infinity Stones and fucking rule the universe. Spoiler! That's right, there's possibly gonna be some spoilers. I'm not intentionally trying to spoil the movie, but there's a lot of stuff I wanna talk about in the film that might be giving away plot points, could be giving away character deaths. So if you're one of those crybaby bitches who can't handle a spoiler or two, do not watch this video. Do not go past this point. Stop, hit pause, go see the movie, come back and resume. You got it? All right, Avengers Infinity War was fucking awesome. I thought they did a great job. I felt like three or four movies were going on all in one movie. This movie is two hours and 20 minutes of kick-ass Marvel action. They are not fucking around. The movie picks up right where Thor Ragnarok left off. So if you stuck around for the Thor Ragnarok cutscene, you see that the Guardians of the Galaxy find Thor floating in space. Um, you find out why Thor is floating in space. The basic plot, Thanos has the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> He's on a quest to get all six of the Infinity Stones. If he gets all six of the Infinity Stones, he will be the most powerful living creature uh, in the entire universe. So they're kind of like Captain Planet. Earth, wind, fire, water. You combine them all, you get Captain Planet. But here, instead of Earth, wind, fire, and water, Thanos is collecting mind, time, power. I don't know, there's a bunch of different things. Oh, soul, what else is there? Soul, mind. I can't remember all six of the Infinity Stones. Fuck, power, time. What are the other two? Fuck, man. I can't remember them all. Well, anyways, Thanos is on the quest to get all these Infinity Stones. There's a, a few different factions of the Avengers that are all fighting Thanos in their own way, and they're all kind of in different parts of the universe. Some are on Earth, some are in outer space, some are on Thanos' home planet, all over the place. So you're gonna see Spider-Man, you'll see all the Avengers, except Hawkeye and Ant-Man. I don't know if I'm missing anybody else. Anybody else that you've seen in all the, the previous Marvel movies, uh, you're going to see in this, except for Hawkeye and Ant-Man. I guess they couldn't make it to the party. Tony Stark's got some cool little, like, nanotechnology for his suit. He, like, he no longer has to, like, hop into the metal suit and, you know, get all robotic like fucking Robocop. Like, now it's just a, a touch of a button or a fucking flick of a nipple, and his suit is, like, part of him, and it just appears. I don't understand, like, like why did Captain America grow the depression beard? The deal, did he break up with his girlfriend? Is he going through some sort of a... A weird life change he decided to grow a beard so captain america has a beard and thor doesn't have long hair it's it's kind of weird bring the kleenex to some of the the characters you know from the, the marvel universe that are gonna die there's a lot of them that are gonna die half the marvel universe is fucking gone sayonara sucker blown away like dust <sighs> like gold dust now, you're already familiar with most of the avengers if you've seen the other marvel movies so i don't really need to introduce anybody the one character you might not be familiar with is thanos Thanos is a badass, like intergalactic titan. He's a big, powerful dude. Oh, he's on this quest to get these infinity stones so he can become the most powerful entity or being uh, in the universe. He's a big purple guy. You usually see him decorated in a lot of gold. He's always got that big golden gauntlet on his hand um, with the jewels in it. Just picture Grimace from McDonald's commercials, but instead of like eating Big Macs and eating McDonald's food, he goes to the gym, he takes roids, he's trying to become an MMA fighter, and he's got a nut sack for a chin. One of the main problems with Thanos is he likes balance, but for him, in order to balance things out, he destroys half so that the other half can, can go on. He's kind of like the guy in your accounting department when you submit your budget, but instead of you being over budget, you have to revise it, he just fucking kills half your staff. So that's why Thanos is a bad universe manager. Now Thanos is played by Josh Brolin. You've seen him in a bunch of stuff, maybe from the Goonies. We find out something about the Hulk. He definitely suffers from Hulk rectile dysfunction. That's right, he cannot turn into the Hulk. Anytime he needed to turn into the Hulk, he wasn't able to. Hulk rectile dysfunction. Whee. 
Hopefully it doesn't take place in the bedroom as well. The movie starts off with a fucking bang. You see the Hulk in a boxing match with Thanos. But maybe within the first 10 minutes of the movie, not only do you see a key character in the Marvel's Avengers movies die, you also see the Hulk and Thanos get into a fist fight. Once the movie gets going, instead of like the Avengers being one big group, Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, uh, Mantis, uh, a big chunk of the, the Guardians of the Galaxy, they all end up in outer space. Then you have like Captain America, Black Widow, Falcon, Vision, Scarlet Witch, Black Panther. They're down on Earth taking care of business. And then you have Thor, Groot, and you have Rocket. They're all in outer space. They have a way to try to stop Thanos, so they're, they're going about that plan. But the fight scenes in the movie are epic. Every fight scene they do is awesome. Like, oh man, there's a fucking fight scene with Doctor Strange and Iron Man and Spider-Man and Thanos. Dude, you can really see what Doctor Strange is fucking capable of. That character is fucking sweet. He really uses his sorcery skills and he fucking ends up like turning into like a million Doctor Stranges all battling Thanos at the same time. It's really sweet. There's an amazing fight sequence with the Captain America, Black Widow, like Black Panther, and all those guys that takes place like right outside of Wakanda. They're trying to remove the Infinity Stone that's in Vision's face. They want to remove that stone and destroy it so that way Thanos can never have it. But they're also trying to save Vision because he's kind of starting to evolve and turn into a human. But they need the technology that they have at Wakanda to try to remove this uh, Infinity Stone. Um, Thanos sends his cronies down there and the cronies come with these ships full of what looks like if Venom fucked Goro from Mortal Kombat and they had a dog baby, that's what these things look like. So a huge battle um, between the Captain America faction of the Avengers and these giant like Goro Venom dog monsters. You get to see War Machine fuck shit up. It's, he's fucking War Machine, he's, he's dropping bombs. Uh, you got Falcon flying around. I don't really know what Falcon, like, what the, he flies. That's pretty much all he's got going for him. He flies and he has some weird drones. Like I feel like in the Avengers, Falcon might be the weakest. I mean, other than Hawkeye, you're one rung above Hawkeye, Falcon, that's it, sorry. One rung above the guy who can shoot bows and arrows. Really good. You know, but Thanos is definitely a fucking badass. I think once he gets like the reality stone, he's able to like do whatever he wants with reality. In order to incapacitate some of the Avengers, what's he do? He turns them into fucking curly fry. Drax gets turned into like a fleshy intergalactic Jenga and falls apart. Mantis gets turned into like a female alien curly fry. So once the Guardians of the Galaxy find Thor, he's pissed about what happened with Thanos. Thanos killed somebody close to him that, uh, that he loved. He might not want to admit it on screen. So now he needs a fucking weapon. He wants his hammer back. The guy that forged Thor's hammer, he wants to go to that guy and have him forge him another fucking weapon. Thor ends up at this planet. There's these dwarves that are going to be able to forge him this weapon. And when they show up, guess who it is? Peter Dinklage, Dinkleberg. So Dinkleberg's there. They use Dinklage in a, a very humorous way. Might be pseudo offensive to little people. So they get there and you find out, fuck man, Thanos is already there. He fucked up this planet or space age, like blacksmith factory, whatever the fuck it's called. The flame to the forge is out. So he's not able to melt any of their mystical metals. Um, and he also took the dude's hands. Dinkleberg's hands are like, they're metal like, just metal bricks. So once Thor shows up, Dinkleberg's like, hey man, man, I got these plans for this this axe. We can make this axe. This should be strong enough to kill Thanos. But dude, you gotta restart the fire. The star is pretty much the source for this fire. They they gotta kickstart, almost like you're starting a fucking lawnmower. An intergalactic lawnmower that creates like a fire that you can use to melt the metal to make a giant axe to kill Thanos. Thor and Rocket kickstart this fucking forge. This, they jumpstart the star. All of a sudden, it's shooting flames into where it needs to shoot flames. To start melting this metal, the fucking flame goes out like the iris to uh, allow the the stars like death ray or sun ray or fire ray or whatever come through to heat up the forge to melt the metal the iris is broke thor is like don't fucking worry i got this shit i'm gonna go in there and i'm gonna hold the iris open if you ask me for it to be some sort of a crazy intergalactic blacksmith station it's a very poor design the fire feed that heats your shit to melt the metal is also right in the middle of the fucking ray that melts the metal? Poor design. Maybe you put that lever or whatever on a, on a different part. It's not going to get fucking melted if somebody needs to operate it or if there's like a manual override. Poor planning. You guys got to, you know, think this through. So anyways, they get the fucking forge fired up and they get the axe. Overall, I think they did a great job with the movie. I had a blast watching it. Two hours and 20 minutes didn't feel like two hours and 20 minutes. 
um, I had to pee real bad. So it started to get real iffy. Uh, I wanted to stick around to see if they have any other cutscenes, anything they're going to give away to allude to what's going to happen next. Is it going to be a sequel? What's going on? What's going to happen with the Avengers? They did a great job writing it because essentially like all three of the different factions of the Avengers that are kind of out doing their own thing, each one of those factions could have been one movie. So you're getting like three or four movies in one big movie. And I feel like as each faction hitting key plot points in their story arc at the same time, they're building up all this excitement and then they cut to the next the next faction, building up more excitement, cut to the next faction, building up even more excitement, cutting to, oh shit, here's the big payoff. Writing wise, they did a great job keeping the viewer interested. There's so much shit they need to cover in this movie and try to get in the film. I'm actually impressed with everything that they got in there. But if you're an Avengers fan, if you liked any of the Marvel movies, this is a fucking movie for you, 100%. Because personally, I thought Black Panther was good. It was Marvel movies on safari. This fucking movie, awesome. Better than Civil War, better than any of the other Avengers movies. Like, there's not a lot of bad things I can say about it. The story was interesting, plenty of action. There's still plenty of humor. Everything that you'd love about the Marvel movie franchise, it's all in this. Like, they've got this down to a fucking science. Disney is printing money when they make these Marvel movies. People are going to see it. People are going to have a good time. There's a couple moments where the special effects let me down. There's a, there's a moment where you see um, Don Cheadle in the War Machine outfit, and you also see Bruce Banner in the Hulkbuster Iron Man suit. Like, I feel like they dropped the ball on that, that one little scene. So, like, Rocket, he likes to steal fake limbs, arms, eyes, that kind of stuff. And there's a moment in the movie where that kind of obsession that he has plays a part. So I thought it was cool that they included that. They, had you not seen the first Guardians of the Galaxy, it might not make that much sense to you. But holy cow, man, if you're a fan of the Marvel movies, there's no way you want to miss this one. Fucking go see it as soon as you can. You want to see this movie ASAP. As long as you got two hours and 20 minutes to spare, go see it. Sit through the credits. There's a big clue um, as to what might be coming next. Weird symbol. They show you a weird symbol. I don't know what it is, but it kind of looks like an ugly Christmas sweater pattern. And I don't know what the symbol means, but I have a feeling it's a clue to what's going to come next. Woo! All right, well, that's going to do it for this Red Light Review. Avengers Infinity War. Go see it as soon as you can. Two hours, 20 minutes, nonstop Marvel character ass kicking. Hope you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to comment and share. What's your grandma up to? Maybe you should check in. Shoot her a text. Maybe include the link to this movie review. Comment about what you think of the review, what you like, what you dislike. Also, let me know what you thought of the movie. Don't forget, subscribe. Click right here. You see my face? Click right here on my face. Subscribe to my channel.